flowers will look really pretty planted together. Here you go, Hannah. Some water for the plants. Thanks, Emily. These flowers need a little drink. Our garden is going to be so pretty when we're finished. Yeah, we've got lots of colorful flowers to put in it. This is heavy. I think this is enough dirt to plant everything in our garden. We just have to be careful not to plant barney. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hi, guys. Hi, wow, that's a lot of dirt. For lots of plants. I can use some to cover these seeds, please. Okay. Here's one scoop, two scoops, three scoops. Whoa! Oh, hi, everybody! Hi, hi, hi. Oh, hi. What's going on here? We're planting a flower garden. Oh, I just love flowers. <laughs> They're so pretty. Look, Barney, after we plant these seeds, they'll grow up to be sunflowers. Oh, big, beautiful sunflowers. And look at all these other flowers we're going to plant. Oh, blue and yellow, white and green. Why, these are the most beautiful flowers I've ever seen. <laughs> what makes a flower so pretty? How does it cheer up your day? I think a flower is most beautiful. When it is given away Bright happy colors of yellow and green Purple and blue, red and white too The prettiest colors that I've ever seen I want to share them with you What makes a flower so pretty? How does it cheer up your day? I think a flower is most beautiful When it is given away Pansies and marigolds fresh in the air Daisies in bloom, sunflowers too I've never smelled anything all so fair Each flower is special like you, like you What makes a flower so pretty? How does it cheer up your day? I think a flower is most beautiful when it As soon as our flowers are ready to be picked, you'll be the first to get one. Well, thank you. It looks like you have everything you need to make a beautiful garden. Yeah. Sure do. <laughs> Don't these flowers smell good? <sighs> Ooh, roses are red, violets are blue, flowers look pretty, and smell good too. <laughs> yeah. Barney, do you have a favorite flower? Hmm. Well, I have to think about that. Pansies are my favorite. My Aunt Paula grows them in her garden. Pansies are very colorful. I think I like daisies the best. My, those are nice too. Oh, I think they're all my favorites. All these pretty flowers will need lots of wonderful sunshine to grow. That's why we're growing a window box garden. Mm -hmm. We're putting our flowers in the window boxes so that every time the sun shines, it'll shine right down on them. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind a tree. These little children are asking you to please come out so we can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. <laughs> Lots of sunshine there in the window. Oh, that makes the window just the right place for your garden. But for your flowers to grow, they'll need more than sunshine. That's right, Barney. They'll need water, too. So every day we can give them a little drink with this watering can. Well, maybe not every day. What do you mean, Barney? Huh? Well, because some days it might be raining. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you. 
Kerplain. Kerplop. Kerplain. Kerplop. Kerplain. Kerplop. Kerplain. Kerplop. For the flowers and the trees and the fishes in the seas, the raindrops drop all around. Helping rivers flow and your garden grow as they fall from the sky to the ground. When the rain goes kerplop and the animals stop at a pool for an ice cool drink. They are just like you, they get thirsty too, but you get your water from a sink. And the rain can make a puddle, so the birds can splash all around. <laughs> Taking a bath and chirping away, singing happily to the raindrops when they make this sound. Kerplink, kerplop, kerplink, kerplop, kerplink, kerplop, kerplink, kerplop. When the sun goes away and the clouds turn gray and the rain kerplops in your eyes, whoops. If it makes you sad, you will soon be glad. Look down and you'll see a fun surprise. For the rain can make a puddle, so the birds can splash all around. Huh? Taking a bath and chirping away, singing happily to the raindrops when they make this sound. Kerplink, kerplop, kerplink, kerplop. In those puddles I love to hop I don't care if it never stops How I love the raindrops! <laughs> that little rain shower was just what our garden needed. We still have some planting to do. We better get busy. Okay, okay. Here, let me help. Thanks, Barney. You're welcome. Did you hear that? Yeah. What is it? It's a bee. Look, it's headed straight for our flowers. Oh, that's because bees love flowers. Well, they don't love me. What do you mean, Stephen? Once I was playing in the park, and I got stung by a bee. It hurt. Oh, I'm sorry, Stephen. Bee stings can really hurt. But if you're careful around bees, they'll usually buzz on by and leave you alone. I'm allergic to bees. If I get stung, I can get really sick. Mm -hmm. So I always stand very still if I see a bee buzzing near me. Oh, that's a good idea, Hannah. Look, there it is. Okay, everybody, stand still. Okay, stand still. <laughs> Listen as the bee flies near. Just listen, and what do you hear? The buzzy bee is a happy fellow, just buzzing by to say hello. <laughs> Every animal talks in its own special way. Now let's listen to what some animals have to say. Buzz, 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 the bee will let you know. Buzz, 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 it wants to say hello. <laughs> That's right. Every animal talks in its own special way. Now let's listen to what some animals have to say. Bow wow, bow wow, a dog just wants to say. Bow wow, bow wow, how are you today? So many kinds of animals that we can listen to. A tiger from the jungle or a cat that lives with you. Every animal talks in its own special way. Now let's listen to what some animals have to say. Cheep, 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 cheep. A bird will say that when. Cheep, 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 cheep. It wants to be your friend. <laughs> the world is full of animals from big to very small. Each one is so different, wish we could meet them all. <laughs> Every animal talks in its own special way. They are so much fun, cause they have a lot to say. 
Buzz, buzz, wow, wow, cheep, cheep. Yes, they have a lot to say. Yikes! There's a bee in here! Whoa! Scooter, try to be still. The bee probably won't bother you if you don't bother him. Well, Hannah's right, Scooter. It's important to stay still so the bee won't sting you. Yeah! That's right. Okay, I'm not moving, not moving at all. Sweet darling. Did you hear, Miss Etta? I hear what, my dear? Scooter's got fleas in his house. He's got fleas? Well, if he'd just take a bath every Excuse single me, day. Excuse me, Miss Etta. He... He's got bees in his house, <laughs> not fleas. Bees? Oh, that reminds me of the time I had bees in my bonnet. Well, maybe I better go see what's going on. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Why do bees like flowers so much? And how do they make that buzzing sound? And where do they live? Oh, those are some really good questions. Why don't we find out with... The Adventure Screen! <laughs> this is a bee farm where there are lots and lots of bees all in one place. And those are beekeepers. Look, one of them is wearing a funny suit. <laughs> and look at that hat. Oh, that's because the beekeeper must be really careful when he takes care of the bees. And his special suit and hat help protect him while he works. There sure are a lot of bees. <laughs> You're right, Stephen. Bees have very big families. <laughs> they live in houses called hives. Every bee has a special job to do. That sounds just like my family. My brothers and sisters each have a job to do. Mine is to take out the trash. <laughs> well, just like your family, bees know how to work together. Some bees protect the hive, some keep the hive clean, some gather food, and others make honey. Yum, I love honey. It tastes so sweet. <laughs> it sure does. And bees make lots of honey in their hives. Why does the beekeeper have that can of smoke? Well, the smoke helps keep the bees calm so they don't sting him when he's collecting the honey. <laughs> Did you know that bees also help farmers grow their crops? How do they do that? Well, as bees buzz from plant to plant, gathering nectar to make honey, they carry pollen from one plant to another. The pollen helps new plants to grow. Those bees are really loud. As the bees move their wings, it makes a buzzing sound. And since bees have lots of work to do, they move their wings a lot. This makes bees very buzzy. <laughs> yeah. Yikes! That bee has friends. There's one, two, three, four, five of them. Look, five little honeybees. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Let's see where they go. Five little honeybees resting at the door. One flew away and then there were four. Honeybee, honeybee, happy all day. Honeybee, honeybee, buzz, buzz away. Four little honeybees sitting in a tree. One flew away and then there were three. Honeybee, honeybee, happy all day. Honeybee, honeybee, buzz, buzz. <laughs> buzz, buzz. Three little honeybees looking at you. One flew away and then there were two. Honeybee, honeybee, happy all day. Honeybee, honeybee, buzz, buzz away. Bye bye. <laughs> two little honeybees sitting in the sun. One flew away and then there was one. Honeybee, honeybee, happy all day. One little honeybee left all alone. One flew away and then there was none. Honeybee, honeybee, happy all day. Honeybee, honeybee, buzz, buzz away. <laughs> <It's alone. laughs>
<laughs> is that you, Mr. Boy? It sure is, Barney. Hi, everybody. Hi, Mr. Boy. Are you a beekeeper? Yes, I am. Beekeeping is something I like to do when I'm not working. Today, I showed some of the science classes my special beehive. Could we see it, Mr. Boy? Sure, I'd be happy to show it to you. Beehives are made of special plates called honeycombs. The bees build the honeycombs to store their honey. Wow, they're really working hard. Oh, yes, they are, Hannah. It takes a lot of bees working together to make honey. <laughs> oh, my. Well, I'm sure that sweet bee-licious honey would make a wonderful snack. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, I would be delighted to share some of my honey with you. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I collected this honey from one of my beehives, and it's delicious. My bees worked hard to make all that honey, too. <laughs> Any bee that makes honey is a honey of a bee to me. <laughs> yeah. Honey bee, you're a buzzy bee working hard each day, buzzing about from flower to flower all along your way. Honeybee, you're a buzzy bee, making honey for us to eat. Golden honey, delicious honey, smooth and sticky and sweet. Buzz, it sounds so sweet to me. Buzz, my friend, the honeybee. <laughs> Thank you. Uh-oh. Well, that looks like one of my bees. I thought a few of them got out this morning when I was checking the hive. I bet those are the bees that are bothering Scooter. Yeah, probably. Well, I'd better follow that bee. He just might lead me to the others. Mr. Boyd, could I go with you? I'd like to watch a real beekeeper. Well, sure you can, but remember to stay away from the bees and if you hear them buzzing nearby. I know, stay very still. Good, you got it. <laughs> Be careful. Oh, no, we will. Bye, okay. Bye, Bye Annie. Bye. Bye. Talking about all this honey has made me hungry. Mm. I know a snack we can make that uses honey, butter, and bread. Well, that sounds like a super deep duper snack. Come on, let's go. My dear Scooter, have you solved your bee problem? What did you say, Michelle? I've got this awful buzzing in my ear. Oh, I said, Sugar, have you gotten rid of the bees? No, not yet. Those bees are still buzzing around in my tree. Buzz, 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 buzz. <laughs> Every Saturday morning, my mom and I make teddy bear toast for breakfast, but I think it's a delicious snack anytime. Could you show us how to make it? Of course. <laughs> First, you butter the toast. Mm -hmm. Lots of butter. Mm -hmm. Then, you cut the toast with the cookie cutter like this. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it makes it bare. Then, you pour on the honey. I like yeah. honey. And, you've made teddy bear toast. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, if every bear is as sweet as this, I'd be happy to meet them all. <laughs> the other day, I met a bear, a great big bear, way up there. The other day, I met a bear, a great big bear, way up there. He said to me, he said to me, why don't you run? Why don't you run? I see you don't. I see you have any gun. Have any gun. He, he said to me, why don't you run? I see you don't have any gun. And so I ran. And so I ran. Away from there. Away from there. But right behind. But right behind. Me was that bear. Me was that bear. And, and so I ran away from there. But right, right behind me was that bear. That's all there is. I see. I see. That there was more. That there was more. That's all there is. There is no more. Unless, Unless I see that there was more. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Let's go make some teddy bear toast. Oh, this teddy bear. Oh, this could get her. Let's go. Yeah. I just found where these bees can hide. Like where? Well, I once found some hiding in a barn. Scooter? I think we found your bees, Mr. Boyd. I believe you're right. Now, 
I'm going to use some smoke to calm the bees. Now remember, Danny, stand back and stay still. Okay. I'm ready. Mr. Boyd, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm a okay. Thanks, Mr. Boyd. Well, Scooter, I'm glad you're all right, but I hope next time you'll remember to stay very still and be careful around the bees. Oh, I will. You bet I will. Hey, Mr. Boyd, you think the bees are eating honey? Yum, honey, honey, <laughs> honey, honey. I don't know about that, Scooter, but it's safe to go back inside and take a look. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Thanks for letting me help you find the bees, Mr. Boy. A beekeeper really has an interesting job. Well, it was my pleasure, Danny. Well, hi, Mr. Boy. Hi, hi, Danny. Hi, Danny. Hi, Danny. Hi, Danny. Mr. Boy. Did you find your bees, Mr. Boy? Yes, I did. With a little help from Danny and Scooter, but it's time I got these bees back home. So, bye, everybody. Bye. Oh, okay. So long, Mr. Boy. Bye. 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 Oh, look. We left our gardening things out. We'd better clean this up. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll get the tools. I'll pick up the flower pots. <laughs> we'll be finished in no time if we all pitch in. <laughs> clean up, clean up, everybody everywhere. Clean up, clean up, everybody do your share. Oh, keep up the good work, everybody. You're doing great. Clean up, clean up, everybody everywhere. Well, these flowers aren't very big yet, but they'll grow soon. I knew they would look good planted together. Everything looks really nice. I just hope we can keep it growing. Well, Stephen, all it takes is a little sunshine, some water, and lots of tender, loving care from friends like you. <laughs> I love you. You love me. We're a happy be family with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you won't you say you love me too Danny, we made a special snack earlier. And we saved some for you. Mm -hmm. That sounds great. I'm hungry. Oh, I think you'll like it. It is a honey of a treat. <laughs> Come on, Danny. We left it in the classroom. Okay. I see you later. Bye. 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 Barney says. <laughs> Hello again to all my friends. I'm glad you came to play. Our fun and learning never end. Here's what we did today. We had so much fun planting a flower garden. We learned that flowers need sunshine and rain showers to help them grow. Bees love flower gardens too. They help plants and flowers to grow. And best of all, bees make yummy honey for us to eat. Mm -mm. Honey tastes so good, especially on teddy bear toast. <laughs> it's important to remember to be very careful around bees because a bee sting can really hurt. 
also stand very still if there's a bee buzzing nearby, because I want you to be safe. And remember, I love you. <laughs>